What's going on guys? This is Games Gaming. Today we are continuing our Deadweight series. This is one of our first Deadweights of today. So you can see here, he's already pretty low on power. I was actually celebrating Christmas with some of my family a little bit early and I got alerts that we were zeroing a player and uh, we were actually like just heading out and so I was, um, I had hopped on my phone and I started recording. But this player was at 71 million power before this started. And then I was able to get on, teleport over, be able to join this rally and show you guys this city rally. So this Chorin guy, he quit a little while ago and he actually sent us a message saying, here's my city, I popped all my resources, I'm quitting the game, take everything, uh, good luck to you guys. So shout out to Chorin here, he is a goat, he um, obviously didn't delete his troops which would have been cool, but he gave us all of his resources which is great. Um, gave us a chance to zero him as well and so this is uh, kind of what you should be doing if you're going to be quitting the game so this is a big shout out to Torrent if he ever watches this video but we are going to go ahead and continue to zero him he's down to 50 million power and so this is just going to be a swarm you can see a lot of siege here is the, the big white numbers are all from the siege swarming uh, you can see like Cleopatra you can see Matilda um, all these siege that were swarming that probably shouldn't have been the one swarming because uh, you can see with the actual marches it's much lower counterattack damage but they are down to 50 million power so they are just about out of troops like I said they were at 70 million power before I started this recording and I believe they had about 2.5 to 3 million troops in their city at the beginning of this and we'll be taking a look at the reports here shortly as well showing you guys uh, what the reports look like obviously this this uh this rally i was in is not as good as the one that was previous just because of the fact that he was much lower power um and obviously not in an alliance either because when you are zeroing a dead weight you want to make sure you remove them from the alliance that they're in so that they don't get any of those alliance buffs so we are going to get through the swarming here he is just about fully zeroed i don't believe he has many troops left you can see his city is turning to yellow fairly quickly after the swarm. It is lagging a little bit here just because, you know, I, I was out of the cities. I was kind of in the country and so a um, little bit laggier on this video. But he is pretty much out of troops at this point. He does have some resources as well um, that will most likely be looted from him very, very quickly. Uh, you can see at the very beginning of the video, I had a scout on him. And I think he had like 500 million resource of each kind. Uh, and so that's going to go pretty quickly to the people that are teleported right next to his city. And obviously the people that are setting a ton of siege will get some resources as well. But we will skip ahead to the report since this is just swarming down a low, t low power city. So we're going to skip ahead and go to the reports. Alright, here we go. We have the reports here. So we're going to scroll down. We are going to find the rally report. And here we go. We got 917,000 power loss to 6.5 million. 115,000 dead troops to one, almost 1.5 million dead troops for Torin here. See some resources taken as well. Here's some of my swarms on the city as well. You can see not very many troops he has left. And so on the beginning swarms, when I wasn't able to get really a good hit on the city, obviously not as good. But when I was able to attach a little bit longer, get some skill damage on there, a little bit better reports. Um, you can see his troops are coming down pretty quickly. Some of these ones are pretty good, even my siege are trading positive, which is kind of funny because, you know, they're not really there to inflict damage, but just to take resources, but we were just trying to zero him, um, you know, as efficient as possible, and I want to get rid of siege, so it makes sense for me to swarm with my siege as well, just to kill those off and be able to take resources when it is fully zeroed. And if you haven't seen what it looks like to raid someone's city of resources as fast as possible, this is what it looks like. So you can see many, many, many players all sending tons of troops over, trying to get as much resources as possible from this dead city. So you can see here he has 265 million food, 219 million wood, 1 billion stone, and almost 1 billion gold. So gold is really the hot commodity here in Season of Conquest, simply because T5 uses tons and tons of gold. So everyone wants gold, no one can get enough gold. So this is what people are going after on this city is the goal that he has left. He doesn't have much food or wood. Um, people don't really need stone a whole lot unless you're just using archers or calves. But this is what it looks like when people are trying to get resources as fast as possible. You can see here, I'm actually jumping through cities to get my siege in and out a little bit quicker because obviously siege holds a lot more 
resources than any other troop. And so this is a way that you can jump through cities, similar to like if you're trying to maneuver on the battlefield. Um, having presets for your siege is really good as well for either the pit or for looting resources like this from other cities if you are just trying to loot a city that you zeroed. All right, and on to this next city. This is Vision. This is a player that just refused to leave the kingdom. And so we are actually zeroing them while they believe they're safe. And so this is something that a lot of people aren't fans of is zeroing somebody without their knowledge. Um, but I mean, obviously he had ample time to migrate or drop power and was not doing so. And so we launched a rally. You can see here, Captain Yami with his Attila Takeda. He has insane gear on his calves. You can see right here, he has 1.9 million troops, 300 million food, 500 million wood, 700 million stone and 200 million gold. So he has a Charles Herald as his garrison, which is not very good. Um, definitely don't want to have that as your garrison um, so because Harold is really doing nothing for you. And you can see right here, he does have a pretty good mix of infantry, calves, and archers. Obviously not as many archers, but he has 600,000 T5 infantry and calves and 300,000 T5 archers. So this is going to be fully zeroed. He does have over 100,000 T1 siege as well. You can see the white damage on here is pretty insane, even though this uh, this garrison is a very, very high counterattack damage. And obviously Attila Takeda is all counterattack. He is at 70 million power. So he does have quite a bit of troops and that Herald is not really going to do him any favors here. Uh, just because I mean, you'd much rather have like YSG for AOE. Uh, with, with Herald, you're not really getting a whole lot of value here. Uh, this is going to hurt pretty bad when he um, when we see this report. Uh, obviously the Swarm is going to be a little more counterattack damage. You can see the white numbers are all over a thousand. But that is also because he is over 70 million power. Uh, obviously below that right now and we are trying to zero him as fast as possible he's down to 65 million power because like i said he is active um and does play the game but he was just refusing to drop power and so we're going to launch another rally this is not something that you want to swarm down because obviously charles harold is going to hurt a ton you can see he also had pretty much a, almost a half full hospital at the time of this recording as well uh 700 000 dead troops 7.5 million power loss, 145,000 dead troops for us in the rally, and it is going to get a lot worse for him. You can see the swarms here from my troops. Not great. You can see some people are still swarming, which I don't really know why they're still swarming. And I was unable to get in with the full march here, um, actually unable to get in at all. So I am actually going to have to reinforce this next rally, which is kind of a pain, but not a huge deal. It just keeps the rally full. Um, so we're going to park our troops in the cities right next to Vision City. Um, we're going to scout him here. He has 1.1 million troops left, about 300,000 T5 infantry and cabs left. You can see the white damage here is pretty much the same as last time. Um, last counterattack damage for us, but about 30,000, 20,000 uh, damage on that city. Some of those, the numbers are getting pretty high. Um, this is actually one that I wasn't able to join the rally because the city simply just died too fast and the rally wasn't taking enough damage to join. And so I just had to go ahead and start swarming because I wasn't going to be able to get into the rally because the city just didn't do enough damage. And at this point he is below 60 uh, million power. And so this is just a swarm down because, you know, he doesn't have many troops left. He's below 60 million power. I deleted this marker so we can see a little bit better. We have tons of players here to swarm this down. Uh, we're all trying to cut power. You can see my power dropping pretty quickly here, uh, taking some deads. Actually, after all these zeroings, I dropped quite a bit of power, uh, which is great because, you know, I was I was at 86 million power and I didn't want to have that much power. And so I'm um, very glad that this uh, this little exercise with all these deadweight players allowed me to drop power the way it did because, you know, I, I don't want to be above 85 million power. It's just it's too much to migrate, it's, it's too many troops, um, a lot more expectations, and obviously I, I fulfill those expectations, but um, you know, I'm a, I'm a busy guy, I, I do YouTube, I, I work full time, I'm a student, and so um, I just don't have the, the time to have that much power, and it's just not fair to my kingdom if I can't perform uh, any given KVK. And so trying to control my power by doing these kind of practices is awesome because you know it helps the kingdom out, helps my account out, um, and so on. So. Stuff like this is great to be able to do, especially coordinated uh, on short notice. 
on all these zeroings we actually just like put a marker out and then said like don't scout we're zeroing this guy come as soon as possible and you can see right here we have like eight or nine players that all teleported over immediately to help us zero this player which is pretty awesome we didn't even send any notifications out in discord or anything like that this was all just like spur of the moment like we're just go ahead go ahead and do it and tons of people came over to help us out and uh, distribute the deads amongst ourselves a little bit more so that not all the leaders are taking tons of deads i know that i took a ton i know that bart took a ton hamza took a ton uh and so we all we all sacrificed a ton of power for these dead weight players but this is really just for betterment of the kingdom for betterment of the players in the community here in 2247 and hopefully we're going to be able to drop into b seed we do have many other videos here to get to uh, this is going to be the last one of this video, but we do have some pretty awesome ones coming up here shortly. This will be part three. You can see right here, I just got Duke, which is pretty good. Kind of wish I would have gotten that when we first started swarming him, uh, but that's totally okay. I think I had Justice before. Um, but yeah, so this guy is pretty much zeroed. We are going to go ahead and take a look at the reports here as well. See how we did on these swarms. There are tons of reports here, so we're going to have to go through all these. Uh, I'm going to kind of skip through them a little bit faster. Um, and like I said, we weren't able to get into the rally, unfortunately, but the, like I said, the city died very, very quickly. And so we just went straight into the swarm and you can see here, the swarm went really well. It's like one to 10 trades on pretty much everything here. Uh, it's going to get a little bit worse as we go, just cause as I'm going down, he has more and more troops. Um, but that's also a good opportunity for me to get more kills as well. So you can see, you can see here, I'm getting a lot more kills. Like he's taking like five to ten thousand dead troops at a time here in most of these reports and so um very good kills for me i was glad that i was able to um be able to take part in these zeroings they're able to get on because like i said i was celebrating christmas early and i didn't want to miss this but i'm i'm glad that it kind of coincided with me leaving and <laughs> zeroing these players so i was able to um kind of get the best out of this and so now he's going to get looted he doesn't have that many troop resources left doesn't have any gold left so not as much of a, a priority to to loot um, you can see here in his resources he doesn't have a ton left um, if I scroll right here so he has yeah 13 million food 200 million wood and 400 million stone that's gonna go pretty quickly um, and so this was the the second zeroing that we did for the day and so like I said we do have many 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 more zeroings to do I put a poll out today and a lot of people wanted to see as many videos as possible. So we are going to jam pack all of these zeroings into a couple of videos. And so stay tuned for this next one. We are going to jump right into it in part four. Stay tuned. Thanks for checking out the video, guys.